Um, I'm curious if there was a book or a tool or something that you would say, you know, above all else, this is a great read. You're going to, you're going to learn some great things from this, you know, aside from, you know, listening to more of this podcast, of course, um, what are some of the tools that, uh, you know, families can learn from and maybe, you know, put into action, you know, today, what, where would you point them towards? Either of you have a favorite book or tool that, you know, well, I would always start with Jay Hughes and, and his, um, his writings. That is, it is always the starting point in my recommendations to families. Perfect. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today if it wasn't for, for James Hughes. Um, I read his book and was so moved that I called him and said, you know, can I schedule some time to talk to you. And he's like, absolutely. And he's just so giving and so wonderful. He's very and, generous. Yeah. Yes. And then he said, now you need to do me a favor and you need to meet John A and you need to join the Purposeful Planning Institute. And that was the first year that John A was putting the Planning Institute together. Um, the book that I, you know, that's coming to mind for me is Five Dysfunctions of a Team. We're talking about family businesses and inside of the family business, you know, framework you do have both family and non-family typically in many of the businesses that you know that we serve and i just think that you know what patrick lencioni put together is a nice model for making sure that they understand that you know inside the business that you have to form that bond of trust there has to be trust that you know it's okay to have a dumb idea it's okay to be wrong it's okay to have you know it's fostering that trust for what we called before that good conflict right jane Absolutely. And my thoughts go to the very basic. There are some wonderful theoretical books about conflict, what causes it, and some fairly abstract ideas that are brilliant. But that's not what I would recommend to families. I would be much more practical on that. And that's my bent, frankly. I'm just, I prefer practical. I prefer positive. That's why my podcast is what it is. It's meant to be practical and positive. So I would just go back to the basic, getting to yes. It is an easy read. It applies to so many types of conflict. No one's going to be confused. One more time. I'm sorry. Getting to yes. Getting to yes. It Who's the author? The, the classic from uh, way back when. Well, now I'm going to have my brain freeze right now. Of course, That's I know okay. who it is, and I can't think of his name. That's okay. <laughs> it's on the shelf behind me, um, but it's um, it's been around for many years, and it is helpful in that it is not complicated and it applies to so many things so many situations it would be conflict with your neighbor with uh the person you work with with the family member with anyone at all so that is one of the real beauties of course i would agree on both of the books that you folks have mentioned Perfect. and i think i think also um i actually now i shouldn't go out on a limb like this but i'm going to try anyway the last I knew, the Family Firm Institute's online publication called The Practitioner was open to non-members. And there are some interesting ideas there. They're quite short articles. They're not terribly lengthy. Some are somewhat academic, research-oriented. But it's the sort of thing where someone could just dip in and take a look around. And they're always being added more and more all the time. Perfect. Author's name is Roger Fisher. Thank That's, you. Uh, you know, nope. it's like, no I, you know, it would come approximately sure. what, 12 or 13 seconds after we finished. Thank you, Michael. 